to my podcast Big Because I Can with Rizan. Today I have a very cute little girl. Her name is Aba. She loves drawing, doodling, and passionately reads and writes. She is also the winner of my story writing competition Once Upon in Our Minds. and her amazing story is captured in this book welcoming aba guli hi hi aba how are you i'm fine that's great can you introduce yourself i like reading and writing and i have read many books and i have like like i like sports and i like drawing and doodling in my free time I like sports like cycling, swimming, uh-huh. and I used I used to join a dance class, and I have like I like a lot to read and write. That's amazing. Before I too had a dance class, um, uh, Shamak Dal. Uh, so it was really really fun dancing. um so we do uh, so they create amazing actions and we easily follow them it sometimes we quite long but the more long the more fun it was uh, how was your book launch experience at school it was very nice and like once you announced my name and when i came back to my seat everybody was congratulating me and the most important thing they were falling over me to read my, read the book and it was very fun i'm glad you enjoyed it so aba has anything changed since then yes i got like encouraged i just did not i did not know that i would really win this competition it was really nice was it was it like a surprise when you had won the competition was it like a very big surprise yes actually my father told me and my mother I did not know it so my father suddenly told and I could not believe so I thought you're very passionate about drawing right yes. so can you talk about it give us some few tips my father is a great artist and he draws and paints and he's really really good at it so when i was small my father used to teach me a little about drawing so i had read so i liked it and i had once read a book about kevin and hobbs it was a comic actually in which there's a boy kevin and his soft toy it's hobbs it's a tiger so he writes a comic a comic about them both so i wanted to have a comic of me and my favorite soft toy so i started doodling so uh, when did you start creating all these illustrations i started creating these illustrations when i read the book because I loved that book and it is so cute and so funny. Uh, do you still have the book? The book actually it was on Kindle. I read it on Kindle, uh, so I don't have it in like in my hand. <laughs> so, how do you take any inspiration from something, or you just build it up? I actually had a like when I was small, my father had gave me a book about mm-hmm. Roald Dahl. My first book was Daddy a Champion of My World and I simply loved it. It was so nice. You know, so enchanting. So I really loved it and then I had a collection of his book. Even I wanted to write a story then. So it's all how it began. That's great. Well, it's uh, exactly like me. I have all the collection of the books and the first time I got it I just started, and I I um um I simply do nothing. I just sit in my room, peace and quiet, and I just keep on reading and reading and reading. Same. That's great. It's very difficult to like after reading. It's very difficult when your mother calls you. Like it's study time. It's hard to leave your favorite book alone. Hmm. Uh, it's. Like you said, it's very, very fun to read. 
uh, I've read everyone except going solo because that one is quite huge so sometimes I get a little uncomfortable seeing its hugeness but I've started reading it so sooner and later I'll complete it I have read going solo and boy Wow, I've um, also read Boy. Uh, do you re uh, recollect um, in Boy, it was saying about uh, chocolate, remember? Uh, where um, uh, Rod Dahl yeah, about uh, where Rod Dahl announces that I just wish I got a chance that I created um, an amazing chocolate and I go to the owner yeah. and say, I finally got it. Yes, and the most like terrifying thought was about the mouse plot like I never knew he would do such things hmm <laughs> that was actually a little um, hyper the type of scanning you know so do you visualize a character and then write the story or you just start creating it I never like I never sit and think like, okay, today I'm going to write this story. Whenever eating, going to school, like suddenly the middle of the story pops up. So I never visualize a character first. So it's always a story. Same as me. So um, I, I, like you said, I suddenly uh, get the story in mind and yeah. Um, so I get many, many stories in my mind. Um, I do remember that um, when I was small, uh, my cousins, my whole family actually, uh, what we'd do we'd, on Saturday, we'd keep a, uh, a story reading. So we had to write around uh, gods, some story of gods. So uh, every um, everybody did, not exactly everybody, but um, um, my dad would mostly do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, like this, I also got motivated to uh, to do a story. So one day, I came up friendly and I said I wanted to create a story. So I created one immediately. So uh, then I wanted to um, do a little PPT. So it's a little easier to announce it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's it. So we did the PPT successfully and um, I announced it. Everybody loved it. And I still do have that story in mind. It's oh, been a long time. Nice. It was actually, um, I got that idea when I was six. Oh. Hmm. Even I got my story idea when I was six, but I left it incomplete because I did not know the beginning and the end. I was just like, this would happen in the middle and I left it in my book. Thankfully, uh, I wrote it. Completely? Not completely, I wrote it half, but now I have written it completely. That's nice. What was your first illustrated story you built it up? I told you about Kevin and Hobbes. Like, I, my very first illustrated story was about me and my soft unicorn toy. Her name is Puckle. And I built a story on her. I even have it still. It looks so cute when I really draw it. That's great. You should be um, mostly we should put our thoughts to a pencil, and uh, when you draw it, it gives that um, more imagination feeling. Then you can understand it all. Uh, like in Roald Dahl's, he's um, uh, put a um, few pictures between in his uh, children novel. So like that, I can understand it nicely. Like you can pictureize exactly who the character is. Do you remember Cloudman? From uh, one yes. of Radar's James books. and the Giant Peach. Mm, nice, you know. <laughs> um, so, how do you manage time along with studies? My mother puts a timetable and like today we have to do this study at all so I can easily complete it and then it's all playtime. That's great. Wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, can we have a sneak peek of your most recent work? Okay. Here you go. Wow, the drawing's amazing. Very cute. Thanks. Can you tell us who is your biggest inspiration? Royal Dahal is my biggest inspiration. 
and I completely love his story. I get absorbed into it, and he describes it also nicely. You can imagine the character without any pictures, and most of the time, what I imagine is right. Yeah, the uh, raw dog gives it very detailing, so that's the best thing about his books. Detailing, very funny, and he also at the last page he also gives uh, one, one last word. word of raw dog. So I've I've almost learnt all the words. My first word I remember was scrum, scrum really umptious, something very tasty. Yes, uh, I think you also um, remember is all of the meanings. Right, half because the words how to pronounce it's a little funny. Yeah, scrum really yumptious was very hard for me to pronounce. And Ish. one at the last of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he gave a word of Balampa. Hmm. He had already explained it in the story actually. Yeah, no shorter than my knee. <laughs> so I have to say, the stories are, are the most wonderful. Yes. What is your most favorite book from uh, Raw Dolls collection? That is a very difficult question. <laughs> My first book was Danny the Champion of the World, and I have two favorite books. One of it is Easy Otrot, so cute, and uh, James and the Giant Peach. Hmm, that's great. You have read Easy Otrot? Uh huh. Uh, yes, I do. Actually, my friend gifted one on his birthday. We already had one from the Roa Dal collection. <laughs> so I've read both of them. <laughs> but it's so funny how um, that um, man he Mr. Um, Hoppy. Um, Hoppy. Uh, yeah, Mr. Hoppy. He um, actually he how he uh, fooled that other person by just. Um, turning out the words um, like tortoise, and you did S U trot. Yeah. So that was a very funny way. And it's very cute also. Yeah, Alfie. Yes. So moving forward, let's enter in the fun segment. So um, it's uh, you have to answer it quickly. It's kind of rapid fire. Okay. Your favorite teacher. Sonal, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, Sonal. Um, so Sonal uh, Chachi is actually my, my Chachi. Uh, your favorite subject? Science. Which is your favorite travel destination? Anywhere there is snow. I once visited um, to Kashmir. Oh. So there are three places. Um, Gulmog was the most coldest. So there I also did. Uh, Ski, uh, not skating. Um, skiing. Skiing. Yes, you got my word. My friend also visited Kashmir, and she mentioned it at Hell and World, and she was not letting me till I was like, "All right, I understand." She was very happy. Yeah, I also really enjoyed my Kashmir trip. It was really fun. But at the end, uh, due to there was a lot of snow, um, the flight got uh, delayed. But so everything worked out fine. <laughs> um, your favorite color? Blue. Hmm, the sky. <laughs> favorite actor? No one. Come on, somebody. I never had a favorite actor. Oh. I only watched Harry Potter, which was a human acted movie, and I don't know the characters <laughs> who really acted. Nah, me too. <laughs> Um, favorite cartoon character? That's hard to think. <laughs> Sean the Sheep. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> One place you've never been and wish to go? Antarctica. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> Believe me. You visited? I haven't uh, visited, but I do know it's extremely cold, even at this month weather. <laughs> Um, favorite sport? Skating and cycling. Mm, that's nice. Choose one. I will give you options, and you need to choose one. But like last time, you have to answer quickly. Okay. Reading or writing? Reading. 
Drawing or painting? Drawing. Math or science? Science. Wow, that's fast. Mom or dad? Mom. Rainy day or sunny day? What? Rainy day or sunny day? Rainy day. Pink or blue? Blue. Mm. One plus one equals to fun. I will give you one word and whatever first comes to your mind, you have to say it, okay? Doodle. Draw. Happy. Laugh. Laugh. My mother. <laughs> Book. Write. Pencil. Pen. Tree. Green. Pune. My house. Dolls. Barbie. Hmm. Wow. That was very fun. You were quite quick indeed. And I really like that you one. You were very, very fast. I have to say so. As a prize, I would like to give you this. Thank you so much. And here is my book, so enjoy reading. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us today. I wish you luck and success. Thanks. We are coming to the end of our show, but before we go, uh, is there something you would like to say to our audiences? The experience you had with Rizwar Publishing, could you please share? It was very nice and I loved the story writing competition. That's great. I am very happy you enjoyed. And the season 2 is coming, so be ready! As the second season of the story writing competition is coming soon, what would you like to say? I would like to join that too. Then join. <laughs> we'll have a good time. Thanks. So, as we are at the end, um, let's motivate ourselves for the beautiful things that's going to come. So, Abba, repeat after me. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm courageous. I'm courageous. I can do it. I can do it. You did amazing, Abba. And like again, our second season is starting. So I invite all my friends to become an author like us. You'll surely have fun. Nidhan Jain signing off. Come on, let's cheers. Ah, tasty lemonade. <laughs>